begin with the latest in the impeachment inquiry. Should the president prepare for a public trial? The public hearings are done as the inquiry prepares to move into its next phase. Lawmakers are detailing their findings in a report for the House Judiciary Committee. That could serve as the basis for the articles of impeachment. CBS 4's Skylar Henry joins us live from Washington, D.C. to explain. Skylar, good morning. Hey, Lauren and Mary Bell, good morning to you. Yeah, what's next ultimately in this process is if the House, uh, uh, excuse me, the House Intelligence Committee uh, decides to bring on any more witnesses uh, to testify. Now, the two scheduled witnesses that we heard from yesterday basically backed testimony that there was quid pro quo with the Ukraine. Now, should this impeachment process move forward, though, President Trump says he's ready. We are better than that. Adjourned. Democrat Adam Schiff ended yesterday's impeachment hearing with scathing words for President Trump. This president believes he is above the law, beyond accountability. The facts are on the president's side. The truth is on the president's side. On Thursday, Fiona Hill and David Holmes were the last of 12 witnesses to publicly testify before the House Intelligence Committee. Our nation is being torn apart. Hill, a former White House Russia advisor, criticized Republicans for pushing a fictional narrative that Ukraine interfered in the 2016 election. Russia's security services and their proxies have geared up to repeat their interference in the 2020 election. We are running out of time to stop them. She and Holmes also backed up Wednesday's testimony from ambassador to the European Union, Gordon Sondland. Was there a quid pro quo? The answer is yes. That President Trump wanted Ukraine to open investigations into the 2016 election and the Bidens. And I did say to him, Ambassador Sondland, Gordon, I think this is all going to blow up. And here we are. Holmes, a top official at the embassy in Ukraine, overheard a phone call where Sondland reassured the president that Ukraine would follow through. The president's voice was loud and recognizable. A spokesperson for the president says he's looking forward to a trial with the Republican-controlled Senate. He wants to be able to bring up witnesses like uh, Adam Schiff, like the whistleblower, like Hunter Biden, like Joe Biden. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said leaders are still deciding whether to pursue articles of impeachment. Now, the White House is preparing for a Senate trial. We heard from White House uh, counsel Pat Cipollone, who met with Republican senators yesterday to talk about strategy should this impeachment process move forward.